Hey church, Pastor Marcus here. Obviously, I'm no longer in Newport. Uh, Tia and I are in the Bahamas. We're having a great time here. Uh, she's getting ready right now, but I just want to encourage you guys with a thought today. Uh, for our wedding, we were asked to choose a passage that we really wanted to be a big part of our marriage. And so Tia and I, we chose 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. Uh, in that passage, uh, again, Paul is talking and he says, Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in every circumstance, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. And Tina, we love that passage because it serves as a good reminder of what we want our marriage to be about. So I want to encourage you guys today. Give thanks. Rejoice. Be constant in prayer. And again, obviously it's it's easy for me to maybe have a natural tendency to be thankful right now, given where I'm at. One thing remains true all the time, and that is who our God is. Our God is good regardless of the circumstances that are going on in our life. So because of that, we have the ability, we have the right to be thankful, to rejoice. I encourage you to do that today. And let's have our church be a church that is thankful. Let's have our church be one that when people look at us, they see Christ in us. If Thanksgiving is drawing near, uh, Christmas time will be coming here very quickly. Let's have a church that is, again, exemplifying who Jesus is to the community. T and I are thrilled to see you guys in just a few days. Until then, I urge you to continue to serve the Lord, be faithful, and we'll see you next time.